Hi, um, I'm acting Mayor Amanda Conn and I'm really excited to be at the Retro Youth Cafe today with our newly elected Youth Mayor and Youth Deputy Mayor. So we've got Genevieve and Tabitha with us here today. Um, I'm pretty excited that they're both girls in those roles um, and they're here to talk to us about what matters to young people in Albury and what plans the Youth Council have for this year. So how does it feel to have been elected Youth Mayor and Youth Deputy Mayor? Great, I'm so excited. Um, it was really surprising coming on as a first year, but I'm really excited to take on the role. That's great. Um, so you've got a fantastic committee of young people mm -hmm. who are really passionate about a lot of issues affecting Albury. Um, what do you guys see as, as the big issues that young people are talking about? I think that it's mostly a big issue is making sure that everyone's voices are heard and that Albury City yeah. Council um, listen to what we have to say and we get all our views up into that higher ranking people so we actually get our job done. I think that throughout the council and young people today we're all, we're all feeling really strongly about climate change and climate awareness but also getting frustrated but not seeing that translate up, up, this, up the chain as Jen said so being able to hopefully kickstart something along those lines is really important to us. So tell me about some of the plans that Youth Council has for this year. Um, so we do have some projects coming up in the next few months. So we've got the Winter Solstice, which is with the survivors of suicide. And then we also have, um, throughout the year, we've got the Disability Disco and Clean Up Graffiti Day, which are events that we um, love doing throughout the year. Good question? Or yeah. yeah. So if you had one message to send to the adults in Albury, what would it be? Um, I think like we have been given this voice, but not only being given the ability to speak, but taking what we say as what it is and respecting that we've spoken now, please act on it or respect our, what we want to see from the community. Um, so as we are the younger generation, there are lots more like topics that we think are like that need to be heard um, but the older generation don't really understand those um, and so I think we need to get make sure we are heard and that we do get those problems and events and stuff worked on.